The champion came out here somewhat gloating their belt around. Don't know if that's their way of playing mind games. That title should give anyone the right to gloat. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain if you don't get to look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Wearing that area down here. And, oh, man, that was a thing of beauty. Ready to win that mare. Able to give him the slip. Looking for the reverse. DDT! at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. He's one step ahead there. Dodges out of the way. Ooh! That hurt. Uh, stomping away. Countered it! Just in time. Kick gets caught. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Now this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Two. And he kicks out at two. Wow. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, right to the floor. Stretch. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's got that glint in his eye, that sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. He's back into the ring. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. And this match will head back to the ring. chapter in this title's legacy begins here. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron.